Okay, so I'm going to show how to paint a little flower. I try to do it kind of quickly. I've got some popsicle sticks on this under this little tile just to hopefully there won't be reflection from the camera. I mean from the lights. So I'm working with acrylics and um, someone had asked me to demonstrate how to do a certain kind of petal that's kind of looking like it's coming towards you. So let me just get in the base really quick. I'll probably, I can do it in real time, but I may fast forward a little bit. I'm just going to put the base down, so I may do that kind of quickly. Okay, so I think I have the basic shape for um, the flower that she had sent me a picture of that she had painted, and there was a, a particular petal in the middle that she was struggling with. So this is just the basic shape. I'm going to dry it and then put another layer on because it's still see-through. So I started with white just to cover the dark background, and then I want to make the flower more of a medium color tone just so that you can see highlights and shadows easier. So I'm going to make it maybe like a really pale yellow, maybe with a touch of ochre in it, um, just to kind of knock it off a bit and make it not so bright yellow. And I'm going to go back over everything, and I'll speed this part up. I'm just putting a second base coat on. So I'm going uh, to um, let this be drying. These are golden uh, paints which dry a lot slower than I'm used to. I usually work with Deco Art because it's nice and fast. It's more of a student grade kind of paint, but I like it because I can work very quickly with it. So I'm going to rinse my brush and uh, I'm just going to kind of finish out this base, which I'm going to make it look like part of a stem maybe. So I'm just mixing up a little bit of a green. Put some of that ochre into it and a little of the um, that's the burnt sienna right here. So it's kind of a little bit of a deeper green. And I'm just going to come down and make that look like a stem. And it's, it's blending into the background. So then what I'm going to do is Maybe get a little bit of bright yellow with that color and a little white. And uh, just kind of softly do the edges just to make it stand out a little bit more. Then I can go back in my green again. In the middle, I can add a little bit to it if I want to. I can even put a little of um, like quinacridone, something like that to make it like a darker green, like where it's shadowed or something. But I'm going to go back and rinse and add just a little bit more highlight. Let's say the light is just coming straight down from the top. You always want to know where your light source is coming from. So let's say it's coming from the top of the petals um, for your flower. So I'm just going to add a little bit highlight on this again just to make it stand out a little bit more. And, um, and then it kind of goes up into the, the base of the, uh, the flower. So I'm going to take a little of that burnt sienna and um, yellow oxide and softly blend it and then go back to my flower color and just kind of blend it in a bit. So now we got to determine where the shadows are and so let's just say that this this petal overlaps that one this petal overlaps this one. They both overlap the middle one. 
So you kind of want to know where your boundaries are. So I'm just going to take my a wet paintbrush and get a little bit of um, that burnt sienna and yellow oxide and just mix up like a golden brown. And I'm just going to softly draw in what would be the lines where my petals are overlapping each other. So this one's going to come over about right there. And actually, right here, I'm going to go back and kind of correct my painting. Let's pretend this petal is more, it's coming up more from the base. But it might have a little shadow here because it's shaded a bit. But So let's just add that. Okay, so, and then we have this center petal that she was asking about. And you're going to have a dark center that's going to show the depth of the flower. So I'm going to take, say, um, get a dark brown here. This is a raw umber. So it's really dark, and I'm going to start here in the middle and uh, make my dark center and I want it to kind of dip a bit and then kind of flatten out like that and then this petal is going to come down here so I'm going to rinse my brush and I'm going to take my color that I kind of drew my lines with and I'm going to determine that this petal starts about right here and it dips down and kind of comes across maybe about right there so actually that might be part of that petal right there I'm just kind of trying to separate it out and then I can take my color I drew with and just kind of blend out from that really dark area. If I need to add a little water to help it move better. And let's just say this flower's kind of turned that way. A bit. And so obviously right under here it's going to be shadowed. Maybe just really pretty intense, just maybe right there where the edge of the petals coming over, but then you want to um, blend it in into the petal color and just kind of have it. I got some green on my brush there, sorry. Just kind of, I'm not crazy about this petal, so I got to figure out what I want to do with it, but. I'm just uh, taking a little of the quinacridone and the burnt sienna and adding a little warmth right there. And I think this this petal might need to do that as well, kind of come from the side as well. So I'm going to actually make that dip a little bit more. So instead of them coming down as much, they're going to be more of going sideways instead of out, if that makes sense. So I'm going to rinse my brush and then I'm just going to keep adding some colors. Um, so I added a little 
yellow into my oxide color. Now this petal, the light source is going to kind of be hitting it right in the middle. It might have a little, a little warmth to it right there coming up from the middle. But then it's going to really kind of become bright. So I'm just kind of blending that out ever so softly. And then let's just say that's where the highlight is going to be on this petal is more right there in the middle of it where it kind of folds out and then the maybe the bottom of the petal it, there's a little color of the flower That might be a little too much right there, but um, just a little. And then we're going to blend it back into that white just ever so slightly. Okay, so now I'm going to go back to these petals and just kind of blend out some of this color that's so strong. Maybe add a little bit more of a yellow tone down here so it doesn't have all that red in it. Same here. So this one's kind of folded here a bit, so you're going to see maybe a little bit of a shadow. Same over here, it might be folded just a bit. So I want to go back up here and add just a little bit more color to that petal. And then come back in and add the white again. I want to make, I want to yellow that up a bit. And I want to put a little bit more yellow in the petals here. I'm just making mine yellow. Your flower can be any color you want it to be. Just so it would pop against this background that I have for an example for you. So I'm going to go back over that white even just for now. Till I decide how I want to handle it. <laughs> Put another little highlight just slightly on that stem. Okay. So I'm going to go back to that really dark burnt umber. Put a little of the burnt sienna in it and just kind of draw out a few little lines in the petals. Again, these are kind of bending a little bit. And there is some shadow there. I'll switch to just a little bit bigger brush and then I want kind of my highlights so I'm going to go into my white and I'm going to highlight just the like the top area where the the light's hitting that petal
For me, it's kind of a back and forth kind of thing. I'll add and I'll take away and I'll add and I'll kind of take away like this feels too, too, like too much of a difference. So I'll go back in and I'll put kind of a medium tone back in to kind of uh, make it feel not so hard. So I'm going to go back here and just highlight right along the edge and kind of fan it out into the color a little bit. Soften this yellow here into my white. Make it stronger. Okay, so I want to differentiate this petal here in the base. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, come in the middle with a little bit of that brown and uh, burnt sienna and the yellow oxide just making kind of a warm tone and it's going to be kind of my middle ground that's between these two petals. Make it a little bit lighter. Maybe there is a little shadow, yeah, there, very little. Sometimes you just have to kind of work through it as you're painting it to see how it, what feels right. Um, so maybe I need to add just a little bit more depth to the, give us the illusion of it being shadowed. So I added some quinacridone to that brown. I may need to warm it up a bit. And then Making that a stronger line for that petal on either side. Then go back and add some white again just to lighten it up a bit. Ooh. 
We can even make it look like it's um, got some ridges to the petal too, but I don't know. Maybe take away some of those hard lines. <clears throat> Just a little bit more. I don't think I actually like it deeper. Just work through the way you want it to, um, the way it feels good to you. And a little bit more of that quinacridone just to give it. Maybe there's just a little bit more of a dip. And then I probably would add let me just draw it really quick. <coughs> I can't find my uh, liner brush but I've got my Unipasca pen which I love, love, love. I can't make it without Uniposca pens, and I would probably just do some little details, like little stamens right here. Just kind of detract from that center part. I'm not still very crazy about this. This is basically just white acrylic paint and a Uniposca pen, um, so you can use it like acrylic paints. Maybe I need to bring the petal down a little bit. Come. 
come right back and, and just kind of see if I can go around some of this white just to give it almost a more definition. Or you can take a black Posca pen, which I have, which maybe I want to do that. instead of white. Um, I can add just a few more white highlights. So I think that's how I would do it. <laughs> I hope this has helped. I, it may not have. And uh, she had asked if I could just do a little quick video. Of course, I can't do anything quick because that's, that's just me. I got a few little scrapes on this tile. I'm just going to cover up with paint. This is where I can even take what is already painted on the tile and alter it if I need to, just for any reason. Like here it's really dark, so maybe I want to give the illusion of a leaf or something. So I'll just make up something. Uh, camouflage this corner here.
Okay. So, I don't know if this helped you at all. I hope it did. I hope you learned something from it. Um, just think of the organic shapes of the petals and what which way they're going. I'm not an expert flower painter. I just kind of paint for my gut. So, I hope that helps a little bit. All right. Bye-bye.